Hey guys, Trainman1405 here. Today I'm going to give you a quick look at Club Penguin's new Puffle Wild app. Um, this game is currently only available on the app stores in Australia and New Zealand, and it'll have a worldwide world worldwide what a tongue twister a worldwide rollout sometime within the next month or two, probably uh, next month because December's the holidays. So, um, if you've played Candy Crush or Bejeweled, then you'll pretty much instantly have the hang of Puffle Wild as it is a match three game. Um, what you do when you first open the app is you log into your account and if whatever puffles you have you'll see under my puffles. Um, as you can see I have quite a lot of puffles so basically when you go to play you'll see a whole map of every different level. Um, and throughout the uh, map there's different new puffles you can unlock such as the raccoon puffle, the rabbit puffle, deer puffle, and of course the ultra rare unicorn puffle. Um, there's this whole map right here which is 40 levels and then when you have 70 stars you can use those to unlock the whole forest area which is right here. So I've pretty much completed the whole game except the final level which is what I'm going to show you. So as you can see all these levels, there's a whole another bit there. So as you can see the unicorn puffle is right there. I'm going to try to unlock it now. Um, this game is, uh, it's not really hard, but it's not really easy either. I guess it depends on how good you are with, um, the game, just the experience. You know, I've played Candy Crush before, so I have some background with that. And definitely having, um, um Puffles from being a member helps a lot, because Puffles are pretty much your power-ups. So for this level, I have to, I guess, pop, or burst. Yeah, first uh, 50 of the white berries and 50 of the yellow berries. And this, these are the different berries you're going to see on the level. So there's the blue ones, red ones, white ones, purple ones, and yellow ones. So basically whatever color these berries are, you want to get puffles um, that are that color. So I mean, um, I like the white, purple, and yellow ones the most because they're the best power-ups out of these five different choices. So... I'll switch out my pink puffle with the white puffle. Now, let's see. Nope. I can't scroll with one hand. Here we go. So, drag that right there. And play. Okay, I have 30 different moves. I have to pop all that, and my score is there. And you need to at least get one star on the level. So, let's see, where should I start? I guess I'll start there. Um, let me turn up the volume a little bit so you can hear. If you're stuck after like 5 or 10 seconds, you'll see berries move, just so you know where you can get a match. Or if there's no matches, the board will just reset. Like that. <laughs> um... And as you can see, whenever you pop berries, like if it's that color, it'll go to that color puffle. And once the bar is full, you can use their power up. And um, you can get up to five berries in a row. When you get four, you get that special one, and when you get five, you get a really special berry, which whatever berry you make it touch, it'll get rid of all those on the board. I'll try and get it, but I can't promise anything, because it's all about luck for me. Nope. can use the power-ups. Okay, different, um, one thing I'll say is the different puffles have different power-ups. For example... The yellow one will increase the amount of moves you have left by 5, and then if it's a level that has a countdown timer or a no move limit, it'll give you extra time. Let me use the purple one now. Yeah. And then... Just... There we go. Uh, let's see, what now? Okay, got three more yellow to do. And I gotta use all my white not now. Ok, 
guess I'll do that. And that. Now for the white puffle power up. Okay, now six more. Got 12 moves left. Okay, I'm definitely gonna beat this. Yep, okay, I beat it. Now I'm gonna use up the rest of my moves. There's the special barrier from getting five matches in a row, so I will make it touch, I guess, the blueberries. So as you can see, you got rid of all the blueberries on the board. And I've completed Puffle Wild now, as that was the final level. I think there is 60 or something like that. Um, definitely takes a bit of time, but once you get the hang of it, you pretty much fly through it. So, I can now get the rain or Unicorn Puffle on Club Penguin. And more new levels are going to come soon, I guess. So let me just take a picture of that from my blog. And that's it. That is Puffle Wild. That's every level completed. Um, there's really no point in making a video of every level as it's totally randomized aside from the obstacles set for that level. Um, overall, I guess it's fun, but I don't know, it's pretty much like the same thing the whole time and it's really just Candy Crush or Bejeweled with a Club Penguin skin, and you just earn Puffles throughout the way, or along the way, so. That's about it for now. Um, if you don't live in Australia, if you don't live in Australia or New Zealand, I do have good news for you. You can get the app, you just have to use like a little trickery on iTunes, so check the description bar um, for a link to the post on my website with instructions on how to do that. All you need is a computer and a iOS device. Um, one other thing I just want to point out is it's mildly interesting. Interesting, there is a time checker right there. So it's definitely a cool game. The map is pretty neat. So maybe we'll get to explore this on regular Club Penguin sometime soon. Um, if you like this, be sure to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave a comment, and be sure to tell your friends about my blog and YouTube channel. I'd appreciate it. So that's Puffle Wild. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Bye.